Four time World Cup winners Italy seemingly lost their magic in this competition. They missed out on Qatar 2022 and Russia 2018 and was bang average in 2014 and 2010 ended up with being eliminated from group stages. But Pirlo is here to fix it. We are going to create best youth academy in the world based only on Italian players and lead them to World Cup glory. Yeah guys, so we start our rebuild with Italian youth academy only. We choose Modena as the club and we chose the greatest playmaker in the history of Italian football. Maybe one of the greatest, definitely. Andrea Pirlo will be our manager. Here he is, you can see him. We already made a couple of transfers by selling the players from our club. We managed to pick up three youth scouts, 5-5, five, 4-5 five, five, and 4-5. This is the our scouts experience and judgment stars. Here's how it's gonna work. We will have only one year for scouting. After the first season, we are going to stop our scouting mission. The objective is to win everything possible in club level and we will try to conquer the world with Italy national team. Let's set up our scouting network. First scout, it is Spanish scout Agustin Asenjo, is going to Italy to find goalkeepers. Here he is. Next scout is Hemeros Kosser. He is going to Italy to find some defensive minded players. And our best scout is Estevao Abrao from Portugal. He is going to find technically gifted players. We have 4 3 2 1 formation for now. According to the players that we will manage to find in this first season, we are going to change formation. Ideally, I would like to have formation with three center backs and two strikers. Let's see. Okay, guys, we have our first scout reports. Yes, guys, Kiobe Zanoni. First player that we are going to sign from the Greek scout. He is 15 years of age, 81 to 94 potential. Okay, we can try to find this guy, Piato Evangelista, and see his stats. For now, we have these three players. Evangelista, a goalkeeper. We have this left back, 5.7. Whenever he turns 16, we are going to directly promote him to the senior team. We also have this guy, Nevio De Angelis, although he has low potential. Second month of scouting has come to an end, and let's see what players our scouts brought us this time. Nothing special here, no one from our Portuguese scout. Okay, we got this guy, Tristano Lasagna, 775,000. 94 potential, let's sign him. In the second month, we signed only one player. It is Lasagna, he is center back. We are going to train him as a ball playing defender. After scouting for three months, we have only this much of a players. Icaro Panetta, who is... I think better suited as a center mid. Let's uh, train him as center mid. Next, we are going to send Hemeros Kose to Italy to find some physically strong players. Our Spanish scout Agustin Asenjo will be searching for attackers. And our best scout Estevao Abrao will be searching for playmakers. I haven't seen this in FC24 career. Our scout Estevao Abrao brought us Mirko Narcisi. He has 5.5 million euros market value. Wow. He also brought us Americus Verardi, who has 1.5 million market value. We are going to sign him as well. Narcissi has come with 69 rating already. We are going to promote him directly to the senior team. Rocco has come as a center forward, but I think we can convert him to a striker. Our Portuguese scout found another talent, Paliero Tardelli, 1.5 million market value, we are going to sign him immediately. Paliero Tardelli is 17 and he is 63 rated Cam, so we are going to promote him directly to the senior team. We have Verardi as well, he is I think great in center mid position, we are going to convert him there. Yes, I see him, I see him, Macario Macchi, great name. 2.8 million market value. Our Portuguese scout is delivering big time. Okay, let's start with Cosimo Cantone. He is a center forward, but we are going to train him as a striker. We have Macario Macchi, 65 rated left midfielder. We are going to convert him to a cam and promote him directly to first 11. We have got this guy, Quinto Pigafetta. Let's sign him. Yes guys, we have Morfeo Catalani, maybe he will become our number one. Our new goalkeeper has 58 rating, he is 15, but already he has 94 potential. Okay guys, we got Francesco Pace, 1.7 million market value, I think he will be a defender. And also we got Bellarmine Tallarico, 950,000 market value. 
Okay guys, we have signed this guy Terencio Testa because he had great potential. He has 31 defending and he is a CDM. We are going to convert him to striker and he will be going up in his rating definitely. Talarico is great but he will be our center back because he is tall and he has good defending and physical capabilities. So guys, we have come to an end of the first season in the Serie B. Modena is 14th, 10 wins, 11 draws, 17 losses. I think it is some kind of iffy season, but yeah, we can expect that because we send our best players to other teams, they release them, and we try to create a team that are only focused on youth academy players. A right back Casadio, left back Zanoni, Verardi as center midfielder, Maki, Tardelli and Narcisi as attacking midfielders, they are all unhappy, I don't know why, and Cantone as a striker. And in academy we have a lot of players, mostly they are not good enough, some of them will be continuing with us like Catalani, and we have only two months left of the scouting report. Yeah, we got Nicolo Laghi as backup goalkeeper, he looks good, let's sign him. Orfeo Ferry, great, great potential, 78 to 94, 1.2 million market value, let's sign him and check his stats. Terencio Testa, after converting from CDM to striker, he went up 21 in his rating. Yeah, Orfeo Ferry is definitely a striker, we are going to convert him to a striker. Palmisano has only 42 shooting and he is center forward. He has great physicals and great defending. We are going to convert him to CDM for now. Here's the team we have in the beginning of the second season, guys. We decided to switch to 4 triple 2 formation. In goal we have Evangelista. He is actually our backup keeper because our first choice keeper is still 15. In right back position we have Casadio, Lasagna as the right center back, Tagliarico as left center back, Zanoni as a left back. Verardi as a center midfielder, inverted from the CDM position. For right CDM position we have Pace. His rating is 66, but his pace is 62. Actually, I think we need to call him Pache. In composition we have Narcisi, the greatest talent we have discovered yet. Maki in the left composition and two strikers Testa and Ferri. And also we have a couple of players on the bench. Of course we have players on loan as well. At last our goalkeeper Morfeo Catalani turned 16. Let's promote him to senior team. Okay guys, we have simulated to the end of the second season. Let's see the standings. We are 13th in the middle of the table. Actually it is not good, not bad. This was a kind of a transition season, we need to grow our players now and hope for promotion next season. Let's see the stats for our players. In terms of goals, it is Testa, only 11 goals, 2 assists and Ferry, only 9 goals. So you can see that we under delivered in this term. In Here's the team in the beginning of the third season. In goal we have actually Lagi, who overcome in rating the our goalkeeper Catalani, who is on loan in this season. Right back is Pigafetta, the same thing, he was on loan and overcome the rating of our right back, it was Casario. Two center backs pairing are the same, Lasagna and Talarico. In left back we have Tondini, the last player we have signed to academy. In the previous season we promoted him to the senior team and he will be taking the place of Pigafetta for now, but he is lefty, we are going to send Zanoni on loan because he has lost his potential and maybe he will overtake the position again. In center midfielder we do have Verardi, with him we have Pache and four players in attack to attacking midfielders, Narcisi and Maki, Testa and Ferre, two strikers, they both have potential to be special. Other than that we are going to send a bunch of players on loan this season as always and hoping to get promoted okay guys we are now in the end of the third season and let's see the standings yes we are in the promotion playoff against pisa we were sixth with 58 points 14 wins 16 draws and eight losses 65 goals scored 55 conceded let's see the stats for our players in terms of goals, it is Testa, Terencio Testa, 76 rated already, 17 goals, 2 assists. Makario Maki from composition, good good return from him, 13 goals and 5 assists. And the second striker, Orfeo Ferry, 12 goals and 5 assists. And we won this game 3-2. In the final, we are against Venezia. First game in our home ground, come on guys. 1-0 victory for Modena, come on, this is great. Second game against Venezia. 
and 3 nil loss devastating loss from Venezia. i guess we are not good enough yet for syria a and we are going to have one more season in syria b and this time i want direct promotion to syria a we are in the start of the fourth season and, and two players faliero tardelli and aaron tondini has just left us in previous season if we need them we can call them to the national team but we are not going to get them back in this season or in later seasons in modena here is the team just the same team as we had previous season but this season we are good enough to be promoted to syria a we have simulated to the end of the fourth season let's see the standings and we are in the promotion playoffs not a direct promotion this is not a good sign we ended up in sixth position 19 wins 6 draws 13 losses I definitely was expecting direct promotion. Testa with 15 goals, Orfeo Fer with 13 goals. Yeah, great season from Macario Machi, 11 and 9. Let's hope we can pass this challenge now and be promoted to Serie A. We lost on penalties. We are going to be in Serie B for fifth season, man. This is ridiculous. We simulated till the end of the fifth season and we are finally directly promoted to Syria. 94 points, this is great. 29 victories, 7 draws and 2 losses, 86 goals scored. Great result, great achievement. Let's see the stats for the team. 39 goals and 6 assists from Terencio Testa. This means that he has more than one goal contribution per game. That is great. Orfeo Fer with 23 goals. Mirko Narcisi 9 and 11. Machi 9 and 12. Great, great season from our players. So let's go and conquer the Serie A. We simulated till the end of the sixth season. Let's see the standings first. And we are fourth. We are going to play Champions League next season. 20 wins, 8 draws, 10 losses only. 76 goals. It is just one below the first place Juventus. But we conceded 57 goals. This is not good at all. But yeah, we know that our defense and goalkeeper not as high rated as our strikers or attackers. In terms of goals and assists, again, Terencio Testa, 37 goal, 8 assists. Ferry, 20 goal, 4 assists. Maki, 10 and 9. And Verardi with 10 assists. Welcome back to the 80s club Verardi. I guess he gets some um, update in his potential. He is 82 now. Yes, guys, we are accepting Italy national team head coach position. We are going to promote our players to Italy national team and represent them in the World Cup 2030. In the round of 8, we are against Manchester City. First match is a win and the second match... Yes, we won on penalties, come on! Semi-finals against Borussia Dortmund, 1-0 first game. And 2-1 second game, we are in the final of the Champions League. We are against Paris Saint-Germain in the Champions League final. Let's simulate till the end of the season. In Serie A, we are first, 81 points, 24 wins, 9 draws. 5 losses, 81 scored and 39 conceded goals. Yes, we did it. We get Modena their first Serie A title. We won Coppa Italia as well. 3-0 against Milan. And in Champions League, let's check our path. We were first in a group with Borussia, Nice and Michelin. Kinda easy group, I would say. In round of 16, we were matched up against Liverpool. We won 5-3 on aggregate. In quarterfinals, we eliminated Manchester City on penalties, 3-1. And in semi-finals, we passed Borussia Dortmund, 2-1 in aggregate. Let's see the pre-match report and the team of Paris Saint-Germain. They got Xavi Simons, Mbappe, Asensio, Kone, Lavia, Fabian, Madsen, Hanchko, Marquinhos, Hertruda, Donnarumma. Overall, fantastic team. Before jumping to that final, let's check the stats for this season. In terms of goals, it is again Terencio Testa, 94 rated already, 37 goals and 12 assists, 49 contributions in 55 games, he is unreal. Then we have Orfeo Ferry, 91 rated already, 25 and 2, Narcisi, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. Come on! If there are some Italians, uh, please comment on it. 14 and 11 for him. 10 and 12 for Verardi. He gone up by 60 season. Great season from him. Everybody delivered this season and they are gone up massively in their ratings like Leggy, Pigafetta, Lasagna, Talarico, Zannoni, Verardi, Pace, Narcisi, Ferri, Testa and Maki. 
highest rated player in first 11 it is testa our main striker and main force up front and the lowest now is talarico our center back and our goalkeeper on 86 rating come on guys let's simulate this final and modena wins 3-2 116 minute narcissus with the winner mbappe missed the penalty then we got lead with pache narcissi doubled it then we conceded two goals and we went to extra time where in 116 minutes narcissi got for us the winner come on okay guys we are going to men's international cup it is of course world cup yeah okay everybody here is the squad for italy national team as you can see there are only players from modena from our youth academy on bench we have great players like donnarumma bastoni tonali baldanzi etc this will be a great fun i think we can win the world cup let's see our group we have italy obviously we are in this group because it's our group what germany wales and morocco first game we are up against wales and first game is victory for us 2-1 maki and narcissi with goals next game is against morocco and yes it is again 2-1 victory for us tallarico and testa center back and striker come on guys this is a good start of a world cup 2030 campaign can we go in this fashion till the end we are first with six points germany has only one point i guess if we drew we will be the first and maybe with loss as well we will go first from the group let's see 2-1 victory three games three 2-1 victories in group stage this time testa and ferry with goals come on guys we are through to the round of 16 where we are matched up against wells again let's simulate this match this time we also win 2-1 but this time we went to extra time we conceded first then ferry got equalizer and ferry again in 110th minute we are through to quarterfinals also portugal is through argentina france belgium spain england and norway we are matched up against france this is a huge match come on guys we need to win this one and yes we won one nil ferry again he's becoming the leader of the team we won just one nil but this is very likely that will happen in real life look at this all quarterfinals ended up with one nil result belgium eliminated spain england eliminated norway portugal beat argentina we got better of france oh our opponent in semi-finals is portugal Let's see their team. Rafa Leao, Gonçalo Ramos, Conchinsao, João Neves, Almeida, Ruben Dias as a CDM, Nuno Mendes, Chamarro, Gonzalo Inácio, Maga Costa. Great team. Sensational team. But we also have a good team. Let's simulate this one as well. Come on, guys. We need this win. We need this one. 4 3 win. Again in extra time. We got first goal with Testa. Then Gonzalo Ramos equalized. We got the lead with Perry again. Then Leao equalized from Portugal. In extra time, in 91st minute, Ramos made it 3 2. Then Miretti, who has come instead of Narcissi, got the equalizer. And Testa did it again. 4 3 victory for us. We are going to World Cup final against England. It is July 21st, 2030. Foden, Saka, Burnett, I guess this can be Hurricanes region. Bellingham, Charlie Patino, Declan Rice, Chilwell, Gay, Tamori, Arnold, Ramsdale. Great team, sensational team. England is controlling the ball very well. Foden again. He has pace in the flank. Bursting pace from Foden. Will he try to cross it? Goes short and... Charlie Patino opened the score. That was a good pressure from England in the beginning of the game. Charlie Patino makes it 1 0. Maki with the ball. We don't have any space here. Maki again with tactical plus. No! Oh, that was a good attack! The defender was there. Come on, Pigafetta. Great steal. Plays with Ferry. He has some space here. Come on, Ferry. Tries to score from an angle, Ramsdale. And not even a corner kick. Saka. Bellingham. Patino again. 
Kusaka Bellingham, this was this was unbelievable. We have come so close to this title and failed to win this. To be fair, England was better than us in every aspect. International Men's Cup goes to England. We weren't good enough today. If you want to see the rise of this team, please let me know under the comment section whether we need to go for the next World Cup 2034 with this team.